අපි මේ සමාජයේ මිදැල්ලෙන පහන තුල ආලෝකය ඇතයි කඩෙන් පරමන් කුමාර් සහෝදරයාට හයි ලයි ආයතනයේ විටුනාර් සහෝදරයාට ඒ වගේම ජාතික දිවර සාහිත්‍ය ව්‍යාපාරයේ පරිපාලන නිර්දාතුමා I am very happy to be here this morning. Coming all the way because our social father has been a very personal friend. We have journeyed together in the struggles, the life, the times, and the ups and downs of the traditional fishing. We have journeyed. So when I said to Herman some months ago, it would be a good thing to commemorate his memory in Sri Lanka. I meant to say how much he means to you, because I know he has been involved deeply in your lives, in your issues, in the struggles that affect your life, and in your other problems that he wanted to deal with. And my friendship and journey with Thomas is also because I belong to the same religious order that Tom belonged to, the Redemptorist Fathers. And we have been together and working on these issues for a good 36 years. That is a long, long time. When he died, I cried. As a dear friend should. I still listen because I know he was the voice of the fishing community and he walked in the shoes of Jesus the fisher. Mama, when I heard the news of his death, I put down my first thoughts. I would like to read to you just one paragraph of what I have written and then speak to you about this. He now rests from life on earth. His task done. The streams not always fulfilled. Father Tom was, as you saw in that video clip, the one mainly responsible for getting together the traditional fisher people on the world level. At that time, in 1997, on the 21st of November, in his day. That is because he was one who taught everybody, especially the leadership of the fishing community, to, as we say in English, think out of the box, to think different, to think unique, to think what is the best for the future, to think out of the box. Many years ago, 40 years ago, places like Tom and me, we would look down on Tom. Because getting involved in the social and the life of people wasn't considered a priesthood. It was supposed to be standing in the pulpit, standing in an altar, preaching God's word, and then getting back into our room. This was a challenge we faced because the church's teachings were changing. In 1978, under the leadership of Sir Mahani Sardana, another very great leader who died recently, I'm happy to say that we leaders, priests, bishop people, we quoted the press in the city of Manju of the last of bishop people. At that time, my best of priest friends heard about our demonstration in the city and that we were going to quote the rest. They came for only to see. They were standing on the sidelines, their hands in their pockets, and they were wondering what would happen. They did not want to get involved because this was so much thinking out of the box. So I'm not very surprised to hear what the previous speaker spoke about the situation in Sri Lanka. We just have to hope that that too will change for the better and many church people will get involved. So what was this new thinking? Demonstrations, picketing, hunger strike, road blockades, railway blockades, fasting, Walking on the street, shouting to slogans against the government, shouting to slogans against the fishery department. This was the new thinking which Thomas Kocheri carried so brilliantly because he was always thinking on behalf of the simple 
in the starting days of his involvement, Thomas Kochuri lived on the coast of Kerala together with other colleagues. He lived in a fisherman's house. Together with four of them, they pulled nets, they collected and sorted fish, they sold it in the market, and they wanted to understand the livelihood of the traditional food. It was that time that he started the first cooperative among fisher people, the poor people. He wanted to cut off all the agents, all the merchants, and all the people who made their money on the lives of people like you. So, the main word I would like to use that I believe Thomas achieved during his lifetime was organization. He wanted to organize the leadership among the fishing communities and he wanted to organize the actual traditional fishery. He had a certain vision, he had a certain focus, we know about it, we heard so much about it. I appeal to you that we should keep his focus of organization in mind. With these few words, I would like to sing a favorite song which Tom would like to sing. These were his thoughts. He had sent them to a poet and a songwriter and a people's songwriter. That man had put music onto his thoughts and this song was composed first in Hindi. Then it was translated into many languages in India and very often we sang it together. This song salutes all people in struggle. It tells us that the tools of working and our freedom are in our own hands. It tells us that we are responsible to break the chains that hold us down. We must realize the power and togetherness that togetherness we can find. So we need to hold hands together, we need to be in solidarity with one another, we need to look at each other's lives, we need to participate with each other, and only then we can organize ourselves and triumph over our struggles. So,